guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i have brought to you guys this bomb look that i created using the morphe 35m palette it's called boss mood and i'm feeling very bossy so i hope you guys like it comment let me know what you think after and let's get into the video okay guys so i'm going to start off with using my nyx eyebrow gel and it's in the color espresso number four i've been using this eyebrow gel for like five years or probably more than that so i have this double-sided um eyebrow brush and i'm gonna take it and basically dap it onto the eyebrow gel and i'm gonna start with drawing my bottom line and i'm gonna bring my wing down next i'm gonna do my top So now I'm going to fill in this eyebrow. And when I get to the front, I don't really put any more product onto the brush. When I'm filling in the brow, I squeeze the brush to make it thinner even more. Just do this. I don't want the front of it to look like too bold or too thick, yada, yada, yada. So now I'm going to go into the next brow as you can see I, I drag my line further than where my eyebrow starts I don't know like I just been doing it and I like the way it like it comes out see that is that's greatness right there lately I've been having an issue where like my eyebrows has not been matching and I don't know why but I'm not liking it so let's see where this goes today. I'm still filling in this brow. Squeeze it in. And then you go to the front and you just take the excess product that's already on. And you just smear it out. So let's see where I'm going with this. I gotta fix this tab. I'm not liking the way this one looks. I like this one better. Making sure there's no empty spots in the brow. Just keep going back in. All right, that's pretty much it for that. And I'm gonna take my concealer brush that I got from Wet n Wild. I actually been using this for a minute now. The infamous LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. Squeeze, tap around, and you start carving. So I normally start right underneath my arch to make sure like everything is good. This is where I've normally been messing up at. Like, I don't like how my right eyebrow been coming out and it's really been annoying. Now I go towards the front. I just place all the product on there and I turn the brush sideways and I take my time with getting a product underneath there. And once I'm finished with that, I raise my eyebrow to make sure my eyebrow has that curve in it while it's up. Drag it down and out. I take my brush. I just blend it out over my eye and it's cool so now I know I can move on to the top and the way my eyebrows go like honestly like it, I'm not gonna say it goes down and then up but like it definitely has a slant to it so I make sure if my bottom has an arch then my top follows so I go on top of the brown and I start from the beginning and I follow the line that I have created with my eyebrow gel and just keep it steady. And sharpen it up, girl. Keep going. And once it gets to my curve, I do my curve like probably like about three times just to make sure it's not too far out. And it really follows my eyebrow. See, it's stuff like this. Like, I don't really know if I like this brow. So now I pull all the product up to start blending. And this is where I see if 
this is the brow or it's not. I think I'm going to have to go back in with more product. I definitely blend around that. I mean, you can definitely see the difference. The eyebrow is not bad at all, but I really just want it to be to my liking. I'm going to go back in with more of my eyebrow gel just to fix my tail right now because I'm not really liking it. I don't want to put a lot because I'm not really doing much, but I just want to bring this out like, That's so much better. Like, it's the little stuff, but I definitely feel like that was so much better. Now we're going to move on to carve out the next brow. We use for some concealer. I don't know. Usually when I do my left brow, since the right is already done, I go from the beginning to make sure that it's even right here. So I start with raising the eyebrow and pulling up. So it can be on the same level as the first brow I'm gonna pull that down I feel like when you're pulling it down on top of the rest of your eye it helps it like blend more like it makes it easier almost done so now I'm gonna take more concealer and I'm going to do the top brow. What the hell? Okay. Let's just see if I can fix this already. Yeah, I think this is going to be a problem. Yep, I don't have enough gel up there on top of my eyebrow. Now my shit is going to be uneven. And boo. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little gap right there, but that's about to get taken care of. I'm excited because I have a new Morphe palette, and that's what this video is going to be about. Yes, girl. Yeah, girl. Yes, girl. So, I'm going to blend up top. Blend, blend, blend up top. And I'm going to take it in the middle. So, the way I blend with my eyebrows, after the middle, I go on a slant to blend it. So, it can look like a fade. And I make sure the front of the brow is not just, like, so dark. So, this is the brow. Let's make it up. Make it up. <laughs> but, we're going to conceal our eye because now it's time for the fun part. I don't even know what eye look I'm going to do. Nothing. Take that same concealer brush. Take that all around your eye. I think today I'm going to leave the concealer wet. Never did it before, so I'm going to be upset if I don't like the way it comes out. Because I normally set my concealer on top of my eye. The fun part <clears throat> we have this new palette from morphe um this is the 35 m palette and when i mean this palette is gorgeous look at it look at it i'm so excited also we got some new morphe brushes came this little cute pouch so this is just a new video you know Get these little brushes. Can't wait to use them because I needed more. So since I'm using a new palette, why not bring some new brushes? So I don't know like what eye I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna think about it real quick while I look at these colors. And this is the Morphe 3 and Boss Mood palette. And we're gonna start off with this fried up right here into our crease so just gonna place it there I'm not gonna drag it up but I feel like blending it up as much as I can so it can start somewhere 
Then I'm going to take a new brush. And I wish these brushes like, kind of had numbers on it, but they just came as a pack. So I'm just going to take this orange shade up more. Keep going in and just place it more. So then after, I'm going to take this red carpet right here. I'm going to place it right underneath this orange color. So this will really be in my crease now. I don't want that orange color to get lost so I'm gonna be going back and forth with making sure that this orange up here is gonna be seen and that it is actually blended I'm not putting no more product onto the brush it's still gonna blend take turns going back and forth with this orange so this orange can be seen I think I'm gonna smoke out the end but I'm gonna use this brown color over here in the corner I believe this sparks fly it definitely is sparks fly so I'm going to take the sparks fly, not too much, but just place it like at the ending of my eye and like bring it out. Because that's going to be like the ending when I cut my crease. I'm going to take a clean brush now because I don't want this brown to leave this dark like lining right here. I need it to be blended out. But this is yes. So still, I'm going to go back in with the red carpet and place it still on top of that brown now. Go back in to the fire it up. And just redo it. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer. Cut that crease. I'm going to go in with my Sophie concealer I use for my eyebrows and to actually set my eye i'm gonna raise my eyebrow up so i can know how big i want this crease to be start from the inner corner I raise my eyebrow and the actual crease of my eye is where I put that line and I bring it down. And that crease is actually good. So, I was trying a new thing about, oh, leaving the concealer wet. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do again. And I'm going to take this flat brush and I'm going to go in with, I need something that's like going to actually really pop. I'm going to take this pop star. This pop star is right here. The name just speaks for itself. Oh, wow. I'm going to place it right on top of the concealer, starting with the inner corner and bringing it out. But I think this pop star is really nice. So I'm going to cover the, the lid that I have cut out and make sure it's very even. Boom. Bow. Look at it. So since you have done all of that, it took away from your brown that you had placed in the corner. So I'm going to go back in with that Sparks Fly. Not too much. And brush it inward. Now you don't just want this dark spot right here. This, yeah. I'm going to take this little brush right here. This is like really thin. And I'm going to take that brown color and go around the crease. And it just don't look like this color just came out of nowhere. Okay, this is coming together really nicely. Okay, so this is the eye we were going for. So now I'm gonna go and start doing the next eye.
okay guys so now we have both eyes matching together the same looking good oh we're gonna go in if i can find my eyeliner that's the next step and then we're gonna apply lashes okay so i had to what oh that's the shadow of the lashes but i had to place my eyeliner and lashes off camera because you would not understand what i just went through well so apparently i lost my eyeliner so I wound up using um, mascara and I put it on my hand and I took this, um, where's that very pointy brush at? Very thin and pointy. And I wound up just using the mascara to make my wing liner because I was really upset. And then I applied my lashes. I was like, I might as well do it one time. I've been using this Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this is in the color Spicy Brown. This is in 338. And before, I used to use 335. I kind of feel like this has been the foundation for me. It takes it a minute to, like, really blend with my skin. Um, I got these brushes off of Amazon, but this is, like, my go-to foundation brush that I use. I put it on one side of my cheek, and then I use the brush to blend it out everywhere else. Trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. I use about three brushes to blend out my foundation because I feel like, uh, well, obviously, they all have different purposes, but after I take this brush and I dab it all over, I go in with this brush, which is a, a little more smoother. Instead of dabbing, I blend out now. Like, I blend down, pull my hairline back, yada, yada, yada. I go in with three brushes. So now for the third brush, the final brush. It's a little slanted. It's more fluffier. And now I just buff everything out. Now I'm going to go back in with the toffee concealer that I've been using for everything. I'm going to just place just like that. Very messy. Only for the simple fact that I'm about to take my carbon brush and I'm about to smooth it out. Right here and my chin. I don't normally do my nose. don't really like the way it looks because I don't contour my nose so I don't put concealer down my nose because it's pointless for me my carving brush and I smear it and now this is where it's gonna sharpen my eyeliner make sure it gets really in-depth underneath my eye I had tried this new technique one time I told myself I was gonna keep doing it until just now when I realized that I didn't do it because I forgot it was actually really smooth so I took two different color concealers I took um, a lighter concealer that I don't normally use and I put it like right in here and then I went out with my toffee and I put it underneath. So it was like a blend of two different concealers and it actually came out really cute. I was proud of it. So now that all of this is like actually smeared. So I actually do my contour now. And wow, I can't find that. Oh, booyah. It's right here. So this is the Chiseled Cheeks Contour Kit um, from Barry M, I believe. I don't really remember where I got it from, but it's a three-tone contour thing. And I take... I don't use contour brushes. I don't know why. I take this brush right here, and I go in with the middle, and I just place like... Just really messy, just because I'm about to sharpen it when I blend out my concealer. I just contour above, and I blend it out. Or sometimes, like, I use, well, that's for the finish. But I take my blending concealer brush, and the concealer that's wet underneath my eye, I place a line right underneath my contour. It's going to get blended like everything else because it is concealer. So now, my contour lines are there. MAC 170 brush, and let me start from my chin. I push onto everything. I don't like sharp, sharp contour lines, so I'm going to have to fix it. But this is the steps to how I get it done. And this brush is, like, really hard. That's why I like it, because it really, like, it takes no time to do what you need it to do. Sometimes I go back in with the foundation brush that I have used. No, I need a hard one. And 
a swirl because a lot has been done. A lot of makeup has been used. Now if underneath my eye, I drag down and out, drag down and out. And I use the corner with this brush to get into my eye. But I am going to go over the contour line and smear it out because I don't want that contour line sharp at all. Uh, now what I'm doing is I'm just going over all my contour spots. I'm going to go back in with the contour, but I'm going to use the Black Radiance, the pressed powder. I actually really like this. Um, and it's kind of really light, so it's not like a, the contour shade for me. It just smoothens out my face. Yes, yes, girl. Yes, girl. So I put it right over the line that I have created for the contour, just so it's not as sharp. So now I'm going to take my where is my setting powder my um, Maybelline setting powder I really love this setting powder and it's in the shade medium this is our uh, just my setting powder beauty blender press down I'm gonna set underneath my eyes I don't want nothing to crease I normally crease around my mouth wherever I put concealer is where I am setting it we almost done, y'all. So, I don't let my powder sit for so long. I really don't know where this brush has came from. But, this is a really good brush. I start with the bottom of my face. And dust. And dust. And dust and dust. Take underneath my eye and dust. Dust and dust. Dust. Dust and dust. Making sure that I have everything swiped away. So this highlight that I have been using is going through a lot of damage right now. It has been through a lot, but I'm not going to give up because this highlight right here, just like the contour palette, this highlight is from Barry M. It's the big tri-blend highlighter. I can't show it to you because it has broken. Add more in here. I'm going to take this elf brush that I use for highlight all the time. I take this highlight and like bring it with my contour just so it can blend like together. I go down the bridge of my nose. I don't want no harsh lines. Like I hate when I see harsh lines for anything. After the bridge of my nose, I am gonna take some of this and I'm gonna apply it to my arch. You need a little eyebrow glow, so I dab. Boom. Look. Come on, come on. Yeah, sleeping on me. Come on. And now, so what I normally like to do, I'm gonna put my setting spray on first. So this setting spray has been really good to me. So I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Uh, makeup mist and set. I wouldn't say drench, but drench that face. Bow. And you know. Mm. This is a beat. This is what you call a beat. Mm. So now that you're done fanning, now for the lips. So since I have lost my lip liner, I am going to take this brown and I'm just going to outline it very smoothly. I don't want it too dark. Okay, what I just did, the color that I just used just now, that was, mm, that's called talk dirty. This one right here. My lips are like really dry. Look how white that is. Like, I think it's going to come out cute when I put my little soft pink on. So just watch. Normally, if I would have had my lip liner, this would never went this way. Okay. So, I got this lip plumper in cashmere cream. Oh, it's Revlon. It's a Revlon lip plumper. I had this for a while, as you can tell, because the name of it has been smeared off. But it comes out like a little pink. I start... I'm uh, placing it and I smear it out. Once I find this lip combo actually works for me, never stop using it. Mm. Like it tingles after like some time when you like have it on. Apply a little more to my bottom row. 
Oh my God, we're not finished. What I forgot to do. Oh, I'm gonna take um, this flat brush and I'm gonna take the orange. Back at it again with the orange. I'm gonna smoke out my under eye. I think I'm gonna take the red carpet and bring it right underneath, yep. I'm gonna do the same with the other eye. And I'm gonna place it underneath the orange. You know how sometimes you just wanna try, like you just try it out to see, and then it's a money maker. So you like Alcatel. But yes, bam, 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 and turkey ham. Very, very lot. So. This is my finished look of using my brand new Morphe 35M palette Boss Mood. And I'm feeling very bossy, so tell me what you guys think. Do you like it? Are you feeling it? Look at the highlight. I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with another slay. Smooches!